New game. This game saves automatically. But this is also a roguelike, and which is kind of a weird combo, but hopefully it works. Mostyn Gatehouse, 1892. In a dream, Nagil is sent to Mostyn Private Asylum by her father. Oh, Nightingale. Um, new patients must spend their first night in the gatehouse for observation. It is there Nightingale first awakens in the dream. <gasps> Something was... oh. Some furniture can be interacted. Zero button. I don't know which button. Zero. No tools. Wait. Oh. Game pads detected. Damn you, Unity engine. No tools. Who are these people? Dodge. Run. Pause. No quests. Got some stat. Oh, we got a statue. We have poise. Is this a souls like? It's not flipping over to Xbox buttons. Oh well. It's probably because Unity Engine gets confused and I have a lot of stuff plugged in. They wander. That's. Cannot open. Dark Souls, man, I know. Well, we got this game. Strange coin, treasure, times two. A curious coin with a cross. It's not clear what metal it's made from. Has a subtle iron scent. Who needs money in a dream? As the weeks dragged on, uh, my, and my own motivation to help the guests play out their fantasies waned, I began to understand. A coin is a forever... A favor stored for later. Oh, it fixed my uh, inputs though. Now it's showing Xbox buttons. Oh, it said zero again, actually. It said A. I don't know. That is going nuts, though. Sarah, what are you doing? Corpse in a cage is blocking a hole in the wall. Some furniture can be used to hide. Wait, wait, are you getting up? Access. Yeah, I guess that's why. Speaking.
But uh, um, no, I don't think it's like little nightmares. It's more like probably more. Well, have you seen Clock Tower? It's, I mean, it's a little like Little Nightmares, I guess, but not really. Hey, center keys. Hey, pond water. I don't know what happens when we die. February 24th, 1891. Patient Millie Erwood, age 13, symptoms epilepsy, inappropriate behavior, May 5th, 1891. Patient Emma Baynan, age 14, symptoms fires, inappropriate behavior. Is fire is a symptom? Hey, Jer. March 4th, 1892, basement. Oh, dear. Rebecca Mason, age 15, disagreeableness, headaches. Uh, September 6th, 1892, patient Nightingale, Williams, age 15, symptoms pending. Oh, I can do this. I should just do that. Clock. Grandfather clock, there's a keyhole on the front. So I guess the levels are randomized. And the original clock tower was actually somewhat randomized. I'm not sure how randomized, but it was. Eek. Yeah, it is a hell of a redeem. The most expensive redeem. Well, of the sounds, anyway. I think it's giving me these weird controls because it's giving me direct input control instead of X input. How long has it been? Huh? What is this place? Pizza? Oh, God. So many things. Oh. Albert, why am I still here? It's Albert. Lord Mosley, well, here's the problem I think I'm having. I have seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I can spare to play with in. you. And so I think because of that, it's displaying the wrong tutorials. Doesn't and you did the engine. Look at those monsters! He's, yeah, it's a monster. What to do? What to do? I want that key. Where am I? Hmm? Uh, this is this item is permanent. The key to the front door of the mansion's gatehouse. Daffy, did you did you misplace the key again? I should nail you. It it to your backside, you absolute pillock. I think one of the other buttons accesses. Oh, that was it. It was one of the other ones. Yeah, it's access was a little off. Now it's giving me the correct. Yeah, see, now it's got A and Y. Well, this is the original room. No, is it? No. Yes. Beak. 
Bye. Pizza? They're not all controllers. Like, one of them is basically a keyboard replacement, but you... It has, like, an analog attached to it. Interact with the exit door and lock it with a key. Father Daffid mind is literally decaying, but he can still be of use. To keep him from wandering the grounds, I've locked the gatehouse door. I nailed it t the spare key to his back in case you need it. You'll have to be sneaky. As an additional safeguard, I've cast a spell on... The front garden of the mansion, no undead may pass through. If you're out there, check for glowing white sigil above the doorway to make sure it's still working. Your every ever busy daughter, Margaret. Is the garden going to be our safe room? That's you. Yeah, it's one of those. The uh, it's because I my wrists are dying. <laughs> so now I don't have to move my wrists at all for because I've got a trackball now for my mouse. So I'm not quite as accurate with the trackball as a regular mouse yet, but. Maybe I'll get there. That's the front entrance of the mansion. So what's over here then? Get a new hand. We'll see how good I am when the Village DLC comes out. I'll probably try to speedrun it. Lock's broken. But I think this is probably a controller game. The Dodge. Eek. Not looking forward to the village DLC. I think it'll be fine. Although, like, that day, like, a whole bunch of stuff comes out. Wax colored with crocus. A useful ingredient in production of spells. Albert, the house guard, never thought of him as a flower enthusiast. Uh, must be he has a lady love somewhere. I feel sorry for whoever she is. Empty jar with proper equipment can be filled with various liquids. What the? They're moving. Hello? Witch and masked lady? staring at me you look lost first time in the dream I'm Becca I'm afraid you stumbled into something you probably shouldn't have we're having a sort of celebration to welcome a new member to of our little club you see we're witches in the dreamy dreary waking world there's no magic but here magic is real I'm sure it's all terribly confusing Need to go talk to the first witch. She's our leader. You'll find her up ahead by the fireplace. Just answer any questions she has truthfully, and I'm sure everything will be fine. You'll feel free to grab a slice of cake. It's delicious. 
slightly stale chocolate cake, still delicious, plus 75 health. Uh, first witch, you're not supposed to be here. Are you a patient at the Mostyn Private Asylum? Yes. Hmm. Did you come from the gatehouse? Yes. Hmm. You made it all the way here with no assistance. Yes. What assistance did I get? What assistance did I get? I didn't know I was assisted. Yeah. Beehole in the grandfather clock. Kitchen knife. Oak. Maybe we're supposed to die there, I don't know. Yeah, you did help me figure out the button prompts. Wants me to do all this. Okay. Ah! I'm terribly sorry for frightening you, but just appearing like, by just appearing like that, I like to observe new arrivals to make sure they're not violently deranged before allowing them out of their room. I'm Margaret Black, Blackett, and I share administration of this asylum with my father, Dr. Robert Blackett. Your name is Nightingale, right? Isn't it? Let me fi first deeply apologize for being s for you, to you for being set on fire as soon as you arrived here. I assure you the responsible party has been severely reprimanded. I'm not familiar with your case history, but you may be wondering if this is all a delusion. I can assure you it is not. You've been drawn into a phenomena, a phenomenon unique to M Mostyn House. It's a sort of dream or nightmare. Weeks will pass dur here during a single night in the real world. I'm sure your questions I I'll answer as best as I'm able. <clears throat> what can I tell you about escaping? Methodology for waking up from the dream is not well understood. Some wake with ease, with only a vague memory of what occurred here. Others are trapped indefinitely, they, their comatose bodies slowly rotting in the real world. Dying in the dream provides no release. You'll simply awake anew. Dangers. As those trapped in the dream rot in the real world, they turn into deranged living corpses here. Unfortunately, the dream accumulates more such unpleasant, res unpleasant residents each year. As such, it's critical that you avoid attention until you are properly armed with tools to defend yourself. While well dying in the dream is a temporary affair, the experience is still horrible, so you must be careful. Magic. 
In order to invisibly observe you earlier, I used a spirit twig. Uh, simply by snapping the twig in my hand, I'm able to briefly move about as if I were a phantom. In the real world, magic is the province of charlatans. But remarkably, in the dream, magic is real. I'm a novice magic user. You'll see. You'll want to see the filthy wretch to learn more. I'll let you explore then. The mansion reconfigures itself each night, but you should be able to find me in the study easily enough. Cosmic, I'll leave you with the key to this room and make my exit a different way. Oh, and Nightingale, don't be discouraged if you die. As you have already seen, it's only temporary. It sounds perverse, but death truly is the greatest teacher. See you around. So I guess that getting set on fire was scripted. I thought I did something wrong. Still have that other key too. Okay, so that's a permanent. The gatehouse key is permanent. I get to keep it. Mini maps. Cool. Search. Gauze for wrapping wounds heals any bleeding buildup and the bleeding status effect. Why are the corpses bleeding? There's no sign of... Uh, the mortis? Shouldn't it be rigor mortis? Uh, the blood, though, foul-smelling and discolored flows as if it were in a, a still-living body. Peek. Oh, God. Uh, bye. I think I have made a mistake. Uh, Ow. Welcome to the family, son. I'm off to a good start, I see. Forgot some, well. Present. First aid kit. Okay, so this room is basically the same, except I got a present. Yeah. Oily rag. I like oily rag. Red wax. Wax colored with matter. A useful ingredient in production of spells. A uh, photograph dry plate. A thoroughly modern photographic plate with a camera can be used to create curiously vibrant photographs. Oh, wait, no, close that. Useful ingredient for spells. That's dodge, okay. Mr. Knight, you're not alive, are you? Lady, so much filth. Yep, so much filth. Four jars. Candles. Gradually heals curse damage, dispels nearby magic traps. Spirits and enchanted armor cannot pass by while it burns. Some nice statues there. Reed Wells Country House. 
Uh, Mostyn House, situated on a hill in Monmouth between St. Eli's Church and Brynbach Abbey ruins, it has a fascinating and tragic history. Built by a coal magnate, Alfred Mostyn, in 1869, the house was initially designed as a country getaway before a series of terrible events led it to become a private residence of an American doctor, a cholera clinic, and finally a mental asylum. Oh. Treasure and crafting. Heard a uh, broom lady. Okay, so where do I want to start then? Eek. Hello. This map actually looks pretty decent for considering, because it's going to be always sideways, so. Spirit twig, a gnarled magical twig, somewhat hot to the touch, a, to snap it to become a spirit for five seconds. Spirit twigs cannot be, spirits cannot be seen or harmed. 15 curse damage to caster. Oh, curse is probably bad. Spiric acid, crafting. Highly corrosive, but ineffective in its current form. With proper equipment, could be turned into a throwable jar of acid. Ooh. Pottery shard. Nondescript remains of something porcelain can be thrown to create a distraction audible nearby, nearby in the room, about as loud as running footstep. And we need I think we need a lab or something to actually craft that. I don't think I can just craft. Blend. Blend. What is this place? What is this place? Oh. Paintings? A dining room. Kill me, Mayor. Wend? He's not decaying. Man, you'd almost think it was real. Good evening. 
I'd introduce myself, but people don't generally wear masks if, they're if they want their identity to be known. I have been here so long, I can scarce remember who I was previously anyway. I have no longer have the patience to beat back the ever-growing throngs of animated corpses in this house. As such, I have become something of a merchant. I travel in all sorts of goods, and my inventory is always changing. What good is gold in this nightmare? A coin is a favor, save for later. Hello, stranger. Art. Mostyn House used to be so beautiful. Best Art was sold to support its brief, unsuccessful stint as a cholera clinic. Uh, it's good so far, Kewen. I think. But, like, I'm like... I just started. <laughs> what remains are mostly recreations commissioned by Alfred Mostyn that were deemed unsellable at auction. I have a soft spot for these recreations. I think in some cases they're even more beautiful than the originals. Perhaps I've been living in this recreation too long. Isn't Doesn't that mean his body is rotting out like he's gonna die soon? Dude, what's with his jaw? Behind his mask. There's something very wrong. Mostyn has three floors. Although the second and third floors have been sealed off in the dream, the first floor is fantastically decorated in the antiquated Baroque style. Second floor was where the family lived and is supposedly even more grand. Third floor is an attic, not somewhere I'd want to be in the dream, as I'm sure it has become a truly wretched place. Below is the basement, where the servants' quarters were located. Something's gone wrong with the gas down there as the lights are all out. If you're curious, you can read more about Mostyn Mansion in the Wells Country Houses book. I'm sure there's a copy around here somewhere. A mask. It's a bit dramatic, isn't it? I found this mask in the attic back when it was still accessible. It reminds me of simpler times of childhood and sunshine. You ever notice it's always night in the dream? It feels like decades since I've seen the sun. Yeah, but then he should be dead in the real world. He probably is. I have no coins, because the two coins I had, I died. Pale Skull Ring. Melee Ring. Foul-smelling wooden ring, said to originally have been owned by an Acadian spearman who poisoned his spear and purposely mi missed vital organs to ensure a slow, painful death, there's no way a wooden ring had survived 4,000 years. You've wasted your money again. Converts 25% of physical damage to poison buildup for melee attacks. Is there no side effect then? It kind of sounds dangerous, but... Sounds pizza. Eek. She's a nice lady. Hi. I wasn't expecting you so soon. I believe you'll do well in the dream. I know I've been on 44 minutes. Too long. Let me give you a little gift. This is an old ring of mine. If you die in the dream, you'll lose most of your items, but some blessed items, like this ring, will survive from night to night. To thrive here, you ought to receive some magic lessons from my friend, the filthy wretch. You'll find him on, in the occult library. It's likely he's locked the door to keep the undead out. Look for a chest with a numerical combination. You should find the combination nearby, perhaps encoded in a simple riddle, something a decaying brain couldn't figure out. My father, Dr. Robert Blackett, famed American physician turned Welsh asylum owner. Have you heard of the composer Johann Sebastian Bach? He's my father's favorite. Bach was given a near impossible task by King Frederick of Prussia, devised the 
accompaniment to a complicated melody on the spot. You see, King Frederick loved to humiliate visitors in his court in this way by having them fail at something they were supposedly excellent at. Bach completed the task, much to the amazement of everyone in the room. When I first started learning how to play pian the piano at a, the age of eight, my father gave me the same challenge. In fact, he gave me that same challenge every day for four years. When finally I had enough counterpoint to complete the challenge, he congratulated me for taking four years to match what Bach had done in a single night. Father always aspired to match the achievements of his heroes. He just never realized that his hero was really King Frederick, not Bach. I never knew my mother. I was born in China in the wake of the Second Opium War. My father says she died in childbirth, but I'm not sure I believe him. I don't think it matters much. The only thing that my mother gave me was this face, which was not always an asset growing up in England. My father wishes to pursue a full-time study of the dream. As such, I've become the only administrator of the asylum. As for the dream, who can say? It's existed for at least 18 years. I suspect it will be with us forever. Rip goes. I only hope my father's research will find a way to banish these wretched living corpses. Why am I walking around with a knife? Because I can stab. See? Epo stab. Welsh country houses. Alfred Mostyn of Lancaster was born of modest means. He managed to build a coal mining empire after he was bequeathed the small plot in southeast Wales by his uncle. Like many newly rich, Alfred hoped for more leisurely aristocratic life for his children, so off went his twins Peter and Priscilla to England for a proper education. 1869, Mostyn started construction on a country home halfway between the mine and Oxford, where Peter was pursuing a classics degree. Spirit Twix. Uh, Poncer's Chest. Thank you for your purchase of Poncer's Chess, a unique and exciting new take on the classic game of chess. Before we explain how each unit works, you'll need to understand some terminology. Perception. As perception increases, the unit can see spirits from a further distance and detect increasingly sophisticated hexes and illusion. Poise. Units with higher poise are less likely to be stunned or knocked down by attacks. Speed. A speed value of 115 indicates the unit performs its all attacks 50% faster than normal. Luck. A luck value of 200 indicates double the likelihood of finding rare or expensive items as well as 10% more gold found. It's a very different game from chess though. What do you do? An elegant ivory ring worn by Margaret Blackett, co-administer of Mostyn Asylum. Max 10 Health plus 10, bleeding resistance plus 25, and we get to keep it when we die. I had like a character sheet. Where the hell was that? Father! Yeah. I smile. Jared. Sarah, thanks so much for 10 months. <laughs> Kiss of all. Father! Father! Didn't I have a character? Oh, there it is. Stats. Uh, we have 100 luck. I want more luck. Deek.
lady. Broom lady. Lord Mostyn will not be pleased. <gasps> oh, jeez. Score. Mummy. Peek. I'm doing pretty good, Kiss of World. Creepy doll. Always need creepy dolls. An unnerving yet harmless child's doll placed to create a distraction or draw attention to something. Lucky that you brought these dolls with you. Priscilla, the fire consumed all of my toys. Had I been more nostalgic when we moved, perhaps they would have been saved. What the hell is that? Yeah, sleeping's really hard. Locked. Pretty home. You're at the point where it's like too close to when you have to get up to bother trying to sleep. Yeah, sleeping's a skill. I do not have it. Uh, blank scroll. Uh, perfect for crafting a spell. Oh! I was told about this. Just gotta find a code. Taranto. Madness swept Taranto in the morning. The city had nine singers, 16 sailors, and 10 bishops. Then three bishops jumped to their deaths. On the following day, every bishop ate two sailors. <laughs> okay. On the following day, four singers drank poison. In Taranto, but a handful of singers, sailors, and bishops remained. Uh, bishops, so seven... Every bishop ate two sailors, so 14 sailors have been eaten. That's two. Uh, four singers drink poison, so five, two, seven. Puzzles. Quick math. Ooh. Seven. Thank you. The occult library key. key to, okay, this is a permanent item, so we never have to find that again. Two coins. For the stranger. Room lady, are you out here? I don't know how strong we are combat wise. Candle. Holy candle gradually heals curse damage. Okay, and it heals us. Table for pressing wax. Alright. 
Well, but we've got a... Yeah, but there's more weapons in the game, I'm assuming. Uh, the Night Mother remembers. We are her bricks and blood is her mortar. country houses. Alfred Mawson was found, fond of saying he was an 18th century man born in the 19th century. Thus, Mawson House was fit, well fitted with the latest technology like gas lighting, had distinctly Baroque sensibility, notoriously thrifty. Alfred filled the estate with replicas of expensive paintings and plaster copies of famous statues. Upon its opening in 1871, early visitors split on whether the interior was beautiful or tasteless. Well, Alfred was away during the summer of 1872. Disgruntled mine workers burnt his primary uh, Methertidville residence to the ground. Worse still, his sister was inside and perished in the fire. Having put nearly all his financial resources into construction of Mawson House, Alfred had no choice but to move full-time into his country house. Other terrible events soon followed. So, you order the friendo? Oh, new visitor to our dream. How exciting. I don't have a name exactly, but most folks around here call me Filthy Wretch. I consider myself a tutor of sorts in the occult arts. You seem like you would make a fine student. Before we get started, I have one small request which you might find a bit off-putting. I'd like you to bring me a corrupted finger freshly clipped from one of the undead. Now don't look so... Scandalized, you don't even know what it's for. I'd suggest targeting one of the sleeping zombies. I appreciate this is an unusual and difficult request, but I assure you the end result will be worth it. Uh, okay. Well then, put that sterling brain of yours into action. Okay, time for murder. There was a sleeping one in the... coin with a cross. Okay, we got another coin. Corrupted finger. We have learned about zombie. Cholera patient. Corrupted finger. Covering them up with a sheet doesn't cover up the smell, unfortunately. Oh, now we know about them. Ooh. Now we have a taste for blood. We needed a finger. Not my fault he was sleeping. Oh. Ma'am? Don't oh, broom lady yet. I could peepo stab her, but I, I'm just. I want to see if we can get a spell or something. I don't know if they can come in here. They probably can't because of this guy. Here you go. Excellent. I won't ask where you got it. Now, what I'd like you to do is eat the finger. Just kidding, people. Such body parts are a valuable commodity with many uses in the dream as in life. You see that stone where the you see the stone shrine in this room? A curious ancient thing. Place the finger into its basin and activate it. It will help you remember items you might otherwise have forgotten each night. You'll find shrines like these throughout the mansion. Just as no two people are alike, 
so are the shrines. Each one will require a different offering to activate. And each new shrine you activate will allow you to remember one additional item. Return to me, pupil, once you have activated the shrine. Okay. The night mother remembers. Here, have a finger. One item remembrance slot. Uh, I think this has to do, it's not an item box. I think it has to do with recovering items after you've died. Our next lesson will be on the casting of spells. You may be skeptical about the existence of magic in the real world, but there's no doubting it's the power in it. It's power in the dream. Use this blue scroll, focus your attention on the seal, and imagine it breaking while you wave your hand over it. The seal will break, and the magic energies contained will consume the scroll and escape. This blue scroll is a protection spell, giving you an invisible suit of armor that will absorb a few hits before dissipating. There is a price, however. Using magic will cause one to become slightly cursed. The effects are numerous. Braying of skin and increased awareness of paranormal activity nearby. Next, strange and horrific sights. Previously hidden items will reveal themselves. Everyone has a tolerance for being cursed, which, it, if exceeded, leads to rather rapid internal rotting process. In that case, use a warding candle to immediately reduce your cursedness. Enough, Prattle. Give that spell a try, and then see me when you're ready to learn more. Duh. You become slightly cursed. As your curse level increases, strange things will begin to happen. Craft your own spells. You'll need a grimoire. So happens to have an extra beginner's grimoire you may have. You can use the table over there to create your spells. You'll need a blank, blank scroll and some wask. Come see me when you're done. So I'm curious about, like... So I could just kind of pick... Thing to not lose when I die. I think that's what this all this does. And I can undo it as well. So, okay. Well, let's do that then. Yeah, when I die, I assume I don't lose that ring. A door hex spell places a hex upon a door. Anyone who opens it will be engulfed in a cloud of cursed energy. The effect lingers for... What was that? Hello? Is that because I'm cursed? I'm hearing, like, random sounds. The effect lingers for several seconds. The hex is only visible to its creator. 50 cursed, 20... Okay. Summons a lifelike dummy of the caster, which will attract attention until it's destroyed. Health of the dummy scales with the spell. you everything I can for now. To continue your studies in the occult, you'll need to find the first witch in the basement. Here's the East Stairwell key. Be warned that someone has tampered with the gas pipes in the basement. All the lights are out, and the basement is not somewhere you want to be without light. Hey, where'd you go? And then, didn't that witch light us on fire? Wretch's room. What the hell are you? 
tactics manual. Uh, bait out attacks by dodging at the last second. Then attack while the enemy recovers. Use a yellow dummy to create a distraction and attack from behind. Briefly hide under furniture to avoid projectiles or charging enemies. Cast a red hex on a door or wardrobe, then place a doll or candle nearby to attract attention to it. Use sound to your advantage. Fireworks can gather all around all enemies to a location of your choosing. Running is a good, good local noise making option if you have nothing else. Tailor the rings you wear to your preferred combat style to maximize damage. Dendum April 1891, in order to weed out dull initiates, this manual is no longer given out. Ghostly Ring, this item is permanent. Cold to the touch, a small amount of cursed energy pours from the crack down the middle of the ring, she really thinks rolling about on the floor makes her impossible to hit. To dodge and rolls adds a brief window of invulnerability to curse damage spell toll to wear. So you get an iframe dodge, but every time you do it, do you get more cursed? No. Oh. Doesn't sound good, but... It does sound like there's a lot of good things to being cursed, though, as well. Combat training procedure. It's, it's critical to the initiative. Activate a shrine prior to beginning training. Otherwise, the night will be wasted. For successful training, the initiative should activate the mirror shrine. Pull the chain to release the training assistant. Engage in combat, die, repeat. Explain to the initiate that if they defeat the training assistant and would like to restart, they could take advantage of the Iron Maiden in the room. Uh, Dendum, October 1891. As initiates are now barred from using mirror shrines, this is training no longer to be used under any circumstances. No, don't pull the chain. Light the candle to open the path. So long as you do not leave this room, death will return you to this moment. Okay. Hold the chain. It's a big fella. I quickly switch. doing oh <laughs> this is going to take some getting used to Pretty good so far. I'm trying to get used to the combat here. at him. Honey. The large heart of a living corpse. 
Some of the original cholera victims have slowly grown larger over the years. Their bodies have become twisted and grotesque, almost inhuman. Is the dream forgetting what they originally looked like? We got a shield? Decorative shield, purposely... Purportedly Viking in origin can block most attacks, although it will eventually break. Heavy zombie, cholera patient. This <laughs> is so weird. Uh, oh, I was losing blood, wasn't I? Portraits of Persia, like the originals, because those were side scrollers, weren't they? In 1874, Alfred was invited along on a diplomatic tour of the Ottoman Empire. Seeing an opportunity to integrate his children to the aristocratic class, he brought Peter and Priscilla along. Peter Mostyn returned from the trip alone. Both Alfred and Priscilla died of fever in Constantinople. Having brought both his father and sister home in crates, Peter was already a broken man at 28. He lived quietly, opening Mostyn House to... The occasional privileged guest traveling to or from Eastern Wales. So I could, I think I can, so I could like get rid of this as my remembered item and make something else remembered now. I don't know how these, so that's crafting. This is an offering. Oh, maybe I should hold, remember the offering because maybe I'll need that. Wales again, yeah, yeah. So I could curse myself more, but also, so this would give me an iframe dodge, but I guess every time I do it, we our curse goes up. bad that is. It's getting hazier, though. He's out here somewhere. There was also that other bathroom had some dude with a gun. What was that? Oh, you get like halluc- Do you see that ghost like pop up in front of the screen? Even when there's nothing around to dodge, it jack makes your curse go up to have that. Okay, let's settle down with that. Last country had it's not clear how, but Peter became so enamored with two such travelers he would end up bequeathing Boston House to them. They were the American physician Robert Blackett and his half Chinese daughter Margaret. <clears throat> Nearby Manmouth residents reported Peter looking increasingly pale and, and in poor health. In 1880 and 1881, Peter, the last surviving member of Alfred Mostyn's family, 
died suddenly of a failed heart. Although foul play was suspected, especially after he was revealed, his after his will revealed that Mossen House was to be left to Doctor Blackett, and no, and there was no concrete evidence. Room lady go. <laughs> I forgot to set. Who laughed? You. Three coins. A finger. Groundskeeper. Uh. A daffod. Daffod forgot to set the traps again, and now the hedge maze is positively crawling with vermin. Okay, so. Assign shortcuts. Uh, so you will be up. Uh, this is the thing that makes me invisible. That could save us at some point. This is a distraction item. This is a shield. I guess the shield I could use from the. Yeah, and this I put on a door. I don't know. There we go. Must be bleeding. Okay. So bandages don't help do anything unless they just stop bleeding then. Uh, poison antidote. Okay. We're not poisoned. I don't think curse ever goes down on its own either. Where the hell did Broom Lady go? Can I take that sword? Look at that sword. What's in here? What the hell was that? We're hallucinating. That was weird. I think that did anything though. Wait, wasn't there a body here? Uh, maybe we're not hallucinating. There is something here. <laughs> uh. Enter portal to nowhere. Um, I don't know about that. Do I want to go nowhere? What the hell is this thing? We are nowhere, sweet. Hello? New arrival, it's been a while. I'd introduce myself, but I'm afraid I've forgotten who I was. One visitor gave me the honorific Lord Nobody of Nowhere. Moreau. I quite like that title. I'm afraid to find out who I was before. Perhaps I wasn't a good person. I still faintly remember things, smells, taste, and uncanny sense of having seen something before. That's why I enjoy photographs. They'll bring back so many feelings. Have you ever used a camera? It's, qu it's quite simple, really. If you'd like, I have a beautiful antique camera for sale. 
I'd give it to you for free, but I need coins. You see, I cannot leave this place, so I purchase photos from budding photographers such as yourself. As such, you'll be able to make back the purchase price of the camera in no time, I'm sure. It didn't play the sound? But it was playing sounds earlier. It's gone wrong. Lost connection to channel points. I don't know how. Talk. Nowhere. It's beautiful, isn't it? No better place to spend eternity, I think. It helps that nowhere is a crossroads of sorts, so I'm often meeting new people. Nowhere is the only place in the dream you can get to from everywhere. <laughs> Initially, it was just me, and then my trusty crow flew in from one of the portals. Basement. We do have to find a basement. I've given him many names, but I can't seem to remember any of them for very long. Sometimes later, that old bag over there wandered in from who knows where. I can't stand her, but what can I do? She's so old that if I threw her through one of these portals, she turned to dust. The hell? I'm not sure where that door leads. It's always locked. Once long ago, I saw a rather harried young woman go through the door never seen her before or after occasionally the most strange odors come from the, the door it's also hot to the touch sometimes sometimes in life I find it best not to ask too many questions when you take a picture of a spirit you capture its soul in the photograph girl about your age was wearing a mask sold me a whole pile of photos of spirits She said... Film sip. It's film sip. Sound pizza, thanks for 21 months. She said she said she was on her way to Mostyn Mausoleum to protect something. Wonder what happened to her. Give me the damn camera. Since you have the ca camera, I have a favor to ask. My photo collection is sorely lacking of photos of the supernatural variety. Sell me a photo of a spirit and I'll throw in a special extra gift. Normally, they normally can only be seen when you're cursed, but you could take a picture of them at any time. Well, I am cursed. Thanks so much for the sub. Uh, how do I camera? Uh, I guess I'll do this. Camera. This goes to painting gallery. This goes to strange bedroom. I suppose I should chat with this weirdo over here. Scam train. Uh, hello. No, now you look familiar. No, I suppose not. Haven't seen, had a visitor in a while, and I guess I'm overexcited. My name is Rose. Don't remember much about else but my first name, so that will have to do. Don't take this the wrong way. But you seem like the type of girl who carries around a lot of junk she doesn't need. Am I right? I love junk. It's the only thing that keeping me sane in this starry purgatory. Well, somewhat sane. Better than Mr. Photographs over there, at least. I have a heaping mound of coins, so if you have extra items, I'll happily take them off your hands. Uh, can't see too well anymore. 
but the twinkling lights are still beautiful. One of these days, I need to purchase a telescope and a proper have a proper look at them. Maybe they're not even stars. Everything in this nightmare is fake, isn't it? I pass my time here resting my old bones and waiting for visitors like yourself. Unlike Lord Pictures over there, I don't want to look at, your, at photographs. They make me too sad. Oh. Rose, who am I? A fine question. I have a few clues. My hands are virtually crippled with arthritis, so I suppose I spent my youth doing something meticulous with them. Maybe I was a seamstress? Most of my face has rotted, so it's hard to tell what I once looked like. But there is something distinct about my eyes. Perhaps I had a French mother. I like to think I was beautiful in my youth, and will believe so until someone presents some real evidence that I wasn't. <laughs> okay. Junk. Gun girl like you shouldn't be running around with a bunch of silly trinkets clinging, clanging around in her pockets. Amassing a pile of baubles and gimmicks is an old lady's sport. I purchased many strange and unique items over the years. I bought a pair of spectacles right off a young man's face. He was in dire need of coin and seemingly in quite a hurry. I bought a terrarium with a real spider inside from a filthy man wearing a sheet. I bought a necklace made of fingers from a frightening young woman in rags. I even once purchased a pair of trousers from a young man with a dog, mostly so he... He'd have to take them off. Don't tell old Mr. Photographs about that one. <laughs> so? Place to create a distraction. I don't really... Do we have, like, an inventory limit? I don't know. I think so, actually. Run, run, run. Let's go to painting gallery. So some of the mirrors that I couldn't go in before, I now can use. Somebody's laughing. Medicinal herb. Fireworks. Uh, one curse damage per second to wear. Oh, that's a ring that just curses you. Doesn't seem like getting curses is that hard, though, if you want it. This is a decent ring. Not that I have money. Critical ring. Pretty cursed, so maybe I'll see one of these spirits that I can take a picture of. I don't know if I should take a picture of him. Probably should have peeked. Broom Lady, I think, is still in this area. I think. stairwell key. Okay, well, there's the stairs. Scrolls. Max. Uh, a scone. Still edible. Edible. I will eat the scone. Thank you. More health. House entrance. Are the outdoors safe? I don't know. Inspect. Uh, Night Mother murders her bricks and blood in her mortar. You want two fingers. I have one finger. I need to murder more. Thank you. 
Probably the sun guy has retired or something. I don't know. But he's still looking up there, but there's no sun. I swear, the church was this way. But there is all only a wall. <laughs> oh, do forgive me. Sometimes I forget that I'm... I am in this damnable shadow world rather than a real one. I am the vicar of St. El Eli's, the nearby parish church. Where'd you get that helmet? Or at least it used to be nearby. It feels like it's been so long since I've seen it. Never mind all that. You've become, been to, in the house recently? Positively reeking with evil, isn't it? As a warrior of Christ, I had once thought to save poor souls in there. Now I only wish... I wish only to escape. You may think it cowardly, but spend a few more nights and you'll see. If you're staring at my lamp, I would be happy to give it to you. But I need proof that you are a valiant warrior of Christ and not in league with the foul beasts in that house. Bring me the corrupted heart of a, one of those hefty poison spewing sheet covered abominations in there. Here you go. Excellent. You are indeed worthy of this lamp. Use it well. Yeah, we're going on a crusade. My chat just said, welcome to chat. Did I lose connection at all, or? Sometimes it just does that, I guess. Basement. Basement is absolutely boiling with sinful characters. For one, there's the first witch and her initiates. Do not, under any circumstances, be tempted to join her foul coven. Hey, Debs, it's pretty good. I believe the dream is a test from God to see how we might behave given eternal life. Harnessing the power of demons to cast spells does not sound like the sort of activity that would please our Lord and Savior. Secondly, the foul butcher surgeon resides down there. Butcher surgeon? Despicable man. I've seen him go in and out of the hedge maze several times. He claims to be searching Mauston Mausoleum for corpses to anatomize. What is his real attention? I don't know, but you should ask him if you see him. Sure, I'll just talk to him. Hedge maze. Mauston Hedge Maze used to be one of my favorite spots for contemplation. It seems to be have been hexed recently, as I simply cannot find a way through anymore. Being through such illusion requires to be significantly cursed, something I personally cannot abide. Oh, I'm pretty cursed. Whoever is in there does not want visitors. Moss Mausoleum sits in the center of the maze. Perhaps whoever hexed the hedge maze has discovered something there. Spirits. In the dream, spirits are tricky fellows to deal with. One cannot even see them unless cursed, and being cursed is a rather unpleasant state to be in. In the real world, I'd rely upon my trusty Bible for protection, but in the dream, surprisingly, a camera is the best weapon. They say a photograph can capture a person's soul. Well, in the dream, that seems to be true, at least for those damnable phantoms that flit about. Cameras are rare. I did see a girl about your age with one the other night, though. She took my picture and said she was going to sell it to the man in the mirror. Absolutely off a rocker, I think. She looked hideously cursed as well. No doubt she was seeing things. Best pieces. So I think this is... A head yeah, that's the hedge maze. I don't want to go there right now, though. Need another finger for this thingy. The room lady went. I don't want to go down there yet, but I do have a lantern, so there is that. She's got to still be here, right? Hello?
Oh, we're pretty cursed right now. No, oh, that's the health bar. I healed a little bit. I ate a scone. You left? What is... I didn't peek. I go? Another scone! A hearty roll! Heals one health per second for 60 seconds. The power of bread. Scones. Captured a spirit. Spectral remains is an offering. Fine phantasmic dust, slightly hot to the touch. Some bones. Ghost physician. Ah, uh, okay, he's a spirit. So even some fatal frame in this game. This game is cool. And every time you die, the layout changes because it's a roguelike. Not open from the side. Oh. I have no idea where Broom Lady wandered off to, though. I got your picture. Uh, cell. This photo positively gives me chills. For your reward, take this ring of perception. This will let you see spirits from further away without being cursed. It also means you'll need to be less cursed to come visit me. Oh, I can only. The reason I could come here is because I'm cursed? I didn't realize that. I guess the mirror door, I didn't, I, that's why we didn't see mirror doors before. 200 perception. That's a lot of perceptions. Okay, I was in this bedroom, so let's go back there. So many perception. Okay, broom lady, where the hell are you? This, I killed you. Okay. Yeah, the curse definitely does give you perception. Which is why we see all these hauntings and stuff. I'm 37 out of 50 cursed. Fit perception, 495. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's cool. Like, it keeps track of where I found the shrine. Monster, 58 monsters, and we've only mm. seen four? Well, we've seen more than four. I just haven't killed more than four. Like, Broom Lady. We've seen her, but we have not just fought Broom Lady. Oh, there she is. It's probably because I left a door open, so now she's like, what's in this room? <coughs> There's a Broom Lady and a, a Sleeper in here. She wants to move. God, you're weird. Just die. Maid, Charlotte. Charlotte, did you always like to help in the Charlotte did always like in the to help in the kitchen, didn't she? and finished him off. Money finger. Ah, scone. Okay, we got our fingers. Now we can use that other shrine. I'm a killing machine, ma'am. Now that you've acquaint you're acquainted with magic, I have a favor to ask. There's a powerful artifact in the Mostan Mausoleum that may be the key to escaping the dream. The last person seen there was the Butcher Surgeon. He's a repugnant man my father hired to help with the research in the dream. I've heard he has he was seen in the mausoleum recently searching for corpses to anatomize. Spends most of the time in the basement studying corpses in the kitchen as you are much more able with magic than I already? I've been here like 10 minutes. Can you venture down there and see if you can find anything out? Be careful, he's a truly odious and unpredictable man also. Have you taken a close look at the curio cabinet in the cult library? Lots of interesting objects in there. I've been in there, Margaret, okay. Dream, nut. Should I take a picture of her? I don't know if that's something he, he would want. Maybe. Because it had relatively modern plumbing, gas lighting, and plenty of space, Mostyn House was reopened in as a private cholera clinic in 1883. It received the occasional wealthy guests, but keeping the house clean and running was too expensive for the operation to turn a profit and ultimately was shut down five years later. Basically, we went to this asylum, and there's like the dream, this dream world in the asylum, and we're kind of stuck in it. In 1888, the Blackets joined the burgeoning private asylum business, which was a smashing success. Gentry from the Midlands pounced on the opportunity to send their troublesome children and misbehaving wives to Moston Private Asylum for rehabilitation in the beautiful estate. Would they be, still be so eager if they knew the dark history of the house? They probably would. <laughs> what? Oh. I hallucinated. <laughs> I don't know if he'll want that picture, but maybe. Monster's chest. Unlike traditional chess, when a piece is either alive or dead, units in Ponce's chess can suffer from a variety of temporary afflictions. For example, a unit may be receive bleeding damage until their bleeding tolerance is reached, at which point they will begin bleeding and will need a bandage to stop. I see. Uh, 
I'm just psychotic. I could be just psychotic and stabbing random people. We don't know yet, for sure. Let's see if he wants that picture. I kind of doubt it. Go to nowhere. Hey, dude. I pictured a get a picture of a pretty lady. Oh, he does like it. Well, I mean, I don't know if he likes it, but he's giving me six coins. So, I think it cost me five to buy the thing, so I gained one coin from that one. <laughs> What's up, dude? I take a picture of him, I guess? Ask dude. Wait. Reload. dead. Hey, what the hell is that? Zombie cholera patient. The dream is usually quite accurate, so why are they so hideously distorted and enlarged? I don't know. Fingers for you. Now I can remember two things. I don't actually know how good this ring. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter right now because we can just we can just change them. Maybe I like remember the first aid. I guess. <clears throat> I guess I should go down here. Oh. Hmm. 
Sweet Millie, dead girl, I still remember the trick. Open and close any door three times, then step through to the wrong room. Do I want to go to the wrong room? Opting item, medical error. Oh, I can see very well out there. said friend and then lit me on fire um officer roland bryce mon Mo, monmouth shire cat constabulary 28th july 1881 investigating the potential murder of peter mostyn 35 and possible ford forge will be leaving the family estate to american physician robert blackett State staff reports Peter appearing pale and sickly for nearly a full year before death. Peter has been a severe alcoholic for seven years following the death of his father and sister. Dr. Robert Blackett and his daughter Margaret had been living in Mostyn House for three years. The state staff reports no conflicts between them. Unsubstantiated rumors of intimate relationship between Peter and Margaret. I don't know if this thing ever runs out of fuel or not. Yeah, I did that because I want to use this. Just gonna add some more curse. Nothing dies down here. Oh, that took away all the curse. Guess that's fine. And then... My health bar. It's because I got the shield on top, I think. What the... Help! Oh god. Ow. Let's finish this. Finished. I used my shield. Human finger. Murder sometimes necessary for the greater good. <laughs> In this case, the fate of the very world is at stake. It's critical we act. Okay, initiate. Can't help it if someone, some lose their way. Exploring the curse is not for the weak. Okay, so she just got really cursed, I guess. I guess that's probably what happened. Yeah, this is way more dangerous. Especially because I have to hold a lantern the whole time. Cup of tea! Plus five speed. <laughs> More basement. We are in a basement. What? Laboratory.
Outcast Diary, 1885. Yes, I am a Calvinist, but that's not so unusual. Not compared to the occult games the unholy doctor and his mongrel daughter have concocted. It was not my fault that I was stricken with cholera, but it is my fault that I dragged myself from the irresistible grace of Christ into this den of debauchery. But I could not stand the putrid waste pouring from my mortal frame one minute longer, so here I am. Uh, oh, you must be Nightingale. I've heard things about you from my daughter Margaret. I'm Dr. Robert Blackett. I do apologize for not coming to visit you sooner. Oh, I see you're staring at my head wound. Nothing to worry about. Cut my head open on a low doorway. We old men bleed so easily. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time. I must be heading upstairs. I'm sure we have plenty of time to get acquainted here in the dream. For now, feel free to use my laboratory. You seem like a clever girl. I'm sure you'll find use for it. Enjoy the rest of your evening, Nightingale. Craft. Highly corrosive jar. 35 physical, 35 poise. Poison jar. Tonic jar. Powerful healing tonic. Oily rag. I like oily rag. Oily rag jar. Where's oily jar? Hey, Ren. Chalkboard. Mr. Skeleton. I uh, see. I wonder if I can't see this because I have like zero curse right now. Poison leaf. Officer Roland Bryce, Monmouth Count Stabulary, 29th July, 1881. History of Dr. Robert Blackett. Made a fortune as a talented physician in Boston treating unusual cases. Took a trip to China in 1860, possibly to avoid war in U.S. Left China for England, bringing half Chinese daughter Margaret with him, mother unknown. Unsubstantiated rumors of heavy opium usage. Met Peter Mostyn in 1878. Robert and Margaret move into Mostyn House. Three years later, Peter dead. Robert owns Mostyn House. Mm, suspicious. See, I think we can go teleport here, but... I have to see I need some curse and candle brought me to zero. probably is useful, I just, I don't know. What's going on? Like, what if I... Pipe. 15 minus... Okay, that's a better weapon, I guess. Yeah. What the hell was that noise? I think it's a big dude. The hunchback guy or whatever. Red door. No handle. Yep. 
must be near a closed door. I don't know how this works. Does he have to try to open it? I'm assuming he does. But... Sure, if that would hit me or not. Holy crap. <laughs> you have time to. Okay. That spell is dangerous. <laughs> Yo! Well, I kept my healing. Dummy spell. Summons a life. Okay. Okay. We know what that does. Got it. Fight. We also kept the lantern. That I need it right now. Up. What? I can maybe, but not today. I knew I was playing this today. Hello, sir. <coughs> Pipe is a big upgrade. Well, not big, but it's an upgrade. Yeah, the menus are a bit Silent Hill sounding too. Yeah. Snacking. <laughs> I don't know why I keep trying to attack with right bumper. Getting me killed. I keep trying to attack with a uh, right bumper, and I just do nothing because that's the run button. <laughs> Okay, 
Right now we're remembering those things. Uh, spirits theory and practicing pneumatic Miles Creighton, researcher into the unexplained, gave us f the following five fundamental traits of spirits. Typically confined to the room in which they died, cannot be harmed in the or manipulated through physical mechanisms have been known to attack the living, sometimes causing paralysis. Exercise limited influence over the physical world, making small objects float, visible only in mirrors or to those who are highly spiritually attuned. Okay. We got some tea. What's the picture of that dude? All I have is water. <clears throat> Bubbly water. Need a Wiccan outfit? I think all we get is our... Time close. <clears throat> Wait, what is this? Is that bedroom, eh? That's the occult library, then, right? Or is this... Oh, this is the painting room. Why is my map kind of... There's the mask dude. He's gone. Why is every door open and why is my map not changing? Is something wrong? I don't think this rearranged actually. Maybe the, that area doesn't. This dude's gone too. Where is everybody? Are all the NPCs supposed to be gone? I think something has gone wrong. Let's go this way. No, nope, maybe not. I can search that. A firework. Maybe things are fine. I'm just confused. But I thought items were supposed to like. like stuff like this. I mean, first person's fine for... Oh, the number eight. Okay, hey, maybe things are fine. Medicinal herbs. Because now we're finding stuff again. Number eight. What is the number eight for?
seven. No map down here, I guess. I do think my map stopped updating though when I was upstairs. Yeah, something's got to be wrong. Well, I died. But I think something's wrong. So yeah, something was definitely wrong. I think I, fi I think that fixed it though. Yep. Oh, hello. Because she wasn't even here. <clears throat> the first witch. It must be Nightingale. The filthy wretch speaks highly of your potential. I am the first witch, and I run the sororal order of the initiated. The filthy wretch and I, though careful and often par. Through careful and often perilous experiments, have come to understand much about the dream. I bestow this knowledge on to young, worthy young initiates such as yourself. How do we train you? This sounds a bit macabre. The blood of in vital organs of the dream's inhabitants hold tremendous power. By offering them in ritual to the entity that controls the dream, the body may be permanently strengthened. <clears throat> Additionally, worthy initiates are given special gifts as they ascend in the ranks. I said that twice. In fact, you will receive a special gift after your very first offering. There is a haunting guide and offering list you can refer to. I look forward to working with you to unlock your full potential, Nightingale. Curse. The curse is a glimpse into the traumatized heart of the dream. With the heightened perception, many strange and wonderful truths are revealed. One may even locate gateways between disparate worlds. You may try gazing into the mirror. A mirror. While terribly cursed, it will only, it's the only way to meet the man in the mirror. I do hope you'll come to appreciate the mad artistry of whatever celestial entity controls the dream. Okay, we've done that careful around other initiates. Some have lost their minds and some have turned back on the Sorrel Order. The casting of spells and becoming repeated, the curse takes a toll on one's sanity. <clears throat> Only true strong will can send the ranks of the Order. I recommend strengthening your tolerance to the curse to avoid any issues. I was once a stranger to the dream like you. My little title is accurate. After learning the occult arts from Filthy Wretch, I became the dream's first true witch. I believe I am still alive in the real world, although it's become harder and harder to know for sure. Doesn't matter much to me because I have so much important work to do here. Filthy Wretch and I are collaborating in an experiment of sorts. Through careful application of offerings of blood, permanent changes can be made to the dream. We're still early in our research, but I am I'll be sure to tell you let you know how we get on. Whoa. Igor? Curse tolerance. Sure. I is level one. Res is our first offering initiate. The board is a key that unlocks our network of secret passages. Bookshelf in this room direct course connects directly to another part of the house. Very convenient. Your next reward will be at level five, an advanced grimoire that will let you create new spells. I look forward to your offering initiate. Cool. What does this want? Corrupted heart. I don't have one. Officer Rowan Bryce. Autopsy has ruled Peter's death as alcoholic cardiomy 
uh, myopathy, although the performing doctor notes some irregularities, the transfer of Mostyn House to Robert Blackett following Peter Mostyn's untimely death is suspicious. However, given all of Peter's immediate family is deceased, it is not so unusual as to be implausible. It is this officer's opinion that this investigation should be closed. passage. I'll come back here, but now that I've realized what was wrong with the game, I'm going to run back this way and go back upstairs and then come back down here again. Spell ring. Crescent moon printed on it moderately boosts spell damage. I missed a ton of items because the game glitched for a bit. Alcast Diary. Each night I explore the boundaries of his magnificent and horrifying gift. I am eternally grateful to Dr. Beckett. Though he claims he does not believe in God, it is plain he has been chosen to do his work clumsily. The previous inhabitants of the house exposed the dream to magic. Cosmic concepts have been cloaked in the false vocabulary and childish sigils of the 17th century charlatans. It will take decades of study to properly harness this magic. Thankfully, I have plenty of time left. All these things were, all these interaction points were not working. And this dude is probably back. I would, yeah, he's back now. Hey, Galicious. Poison, please. Yeah, because I went into... Hmm... Several well-known techniques to deal with rogue and or unwanted spirits. Warded candles lit and inhabit, inhibit their movement. Carefully observe the ghost and sneak past it. Fearing the holy energy of our Lord, spirits can be stopped by push, and pushed by holding out a Bible. Photographing a spirit will capture it, leaving the behind cursed energy on the floor. Curiously enough, the warding candles also inhibit the movement of enchanted armor. This is clear sign that spirits is animated force behind such magic. Is the masked man here? Or is he gone now? He's probably... No, he's here. An axe? Ancient Byzantine ring. Any damage received by the wearer has a chance to be halved. The chances scale with luck. You selling? What are you buying? He's got a key. The clock key. I need to sell stuff. We are 
nowhere. I'm gonna get that uh, key. Die, we don't lose that key. Scone. Oh. Oh, um, what's your name? Should be in here. You've met the first witch. The cost around her, she is highly secretive and exerts a high degree of control over initiates. Okay. We love. a bad spot, I think. Lord Mustin, I failed you. It's failed. Search. Bandage. Poison antidote. When you die, you lose your stuff and the world rearranges. <laughs> Zap, thanks so much for the sub. <laughs> so much zapped. Empty jars. More money. Interestingly, in the original clock tower, the world did rearrange every time you played. Not, I don't know if the items did too. The red one is very dangerous, we learned, because it does friendly fire you. Yeah. But I will go ahead and use this guy. Um, this has bleed damage. Tower 2. Do you mean the the real clock tower too, or do you mean the clock tower one in North America? I mean, I've played that. The one I haven't played is uh, Ghost Head. I haven't played Ghost Head because that thing is Ghost Head. You want to see Ghost Head? Yeah, that game is horrible. <laughs> Taranto. Madness swept Taranto in the morning. Okay, that's the puzzle for the safe that I opened. We don't need that. Because we did that.
What does that do? I don't know what this is for, but I have... I guess I can... I guess I have to figure out what that's for. Hey, where are you? Oh. They're both gone. Did it screw up again, or does the clock have something to do with it? Notice that, uh... Okay, hold on. Yeah, I can't see myself on the map anymore. Oh, that's just, uh... Oh, did it change the layout because I reloaded? It did. When you're cursed, you see you have like hallucinations and stuff, so that's why certain things just kind of move sometimes. I don't know what the clock does. See, he's back now. So I, I think this game, it seems to glitch out every so often. Yeah, it bugged. I don't exactly know what happened. I don't really know what the clock does. Oh, big fella. No. Oh, maybe the dev's here. I don't know. Dev, are you? Well, this body's still here, so I guess it didn't. I guess reloading didn't reset everything, which it shouldn't. I don't think. But it did fix the every all the characters disappearing, so which is what we need. Dev's here. Yeah, because there's no new items or anything, so it's not like I you can just reload to get a whole bunch of extra loot. Spooky place. So, secret passage. Pickle. Cool. Coffin. Oh, it's you. Ah, Nightingale. Excellent timing. This is my assistant, Mr. Coffins. Uh, his name is improbably perfect, as I have enlisted him to help with this coffin here. I'm tired of using, losing all your val oh, tired of losing all your valuable possessions each night. By having Mr. Coffins lock you in here at night, you'll wake with your things intact. There's a small price for service, five coins. Oh, fine. And a snack for you, Mr. Coffins. A corrupted finger will do nicely. The price goes up each night until you die. Dear Mr. Coffins is not a machine and must be compensated for not getting any rest. Keep her safe in there, Mr. Coffins. Absolutely no eating the customer. So... I don't get it. What's it for, though? Each night? Like when I'm done playing? I have a corrupted liver. What's that?
Test Diary. Progress is slow. I have no pupils. The dream has become overrun with disgusting disease-ridden corpses. The wretched butcher surgeon turned the dream into a nightmare, and now he has the audacity to linger here. He claims Dr. Blackett hired him, but I cannot go believe God would mislead his one of his chosen ones. We need fresh inhabitants, free of disease, with cl minds open to Christ's wonders. Uh, what Jeebus has to do with this today, but... Oh yeah, I can't really peek. Hello? Fireworks? Oh, I'm seeing things. I don't know how I'm supposed to sneak when I'm carrying a bright light around, but... A new friend. You're a bricky one, aren't you? Ow! That's a lot of fire. Scones. Yeah, <laughs> for me. you have. Let's go in here. Whoa. Hello. Skeleton. Spectral remains, money, and a, a ghost vicar. Imposter. He certainly couldn't be the vicar of St. Ellie's. That's me. Wait, what is... Why am I... Why is my curse going up? I don't know. It stopped though. It's something here is doing it. I don't know what though. Oh, is that like... I think it's a mimic. Yeah, it is the black stuff doing it, but... Might not be the smartest experiment, but... Pretty damn cursed, I think, to see this. Uh, okay, now. Wait, what? Ah, oh, I 
click the button too fast. What did I get? I don't know what I got, but I got something. Yeah, you can see things you normally can't see when you're cursed. Stupid man But then thing. you can also get yourself killed, and then you also get hallucinations. Wonderbiss. Oh. Oh, Number seven. Stupid man thing! I know I'm a stupid man thing. Thing. Cheese? Oily rag. I like oily rag. Coming for you. Oh god, you're strong, aren't you? I have chocolate cake. <laughs> okay, that was a mistake. Oh my god! I suck at this game, apparently. Melee damage ring, nice. My film. Oh. I failed. All the way to the basement. I don't. I guess you could. I don't understand what this the clock thing does, but maybe I can lure an enemy in there. Oh god, you're still here. Okay, that's what the clock does. <laughs> oh no! Uh. Oh, it's still now. Oh! I don't, I don't think this was a good move. Oh no. Stars. Yeah, now I have a shield. I like the way you scream. Episode thanks to the follow. You like it? Like it. Give me stuff. We're also in a dream, I guess. Oh, that's what they call this place. Scone! Nothing dies down here. I don't know if there's a penalty for dying a lot. I mean, it is a roguelike, so there 
usually isn't. I mean, I guess it depends on the game, but... I don't think I have any film. Without any film, I can't deal with the ghost in here, as far as I know. Assuming he's the guy playing the piano. Look at those monsters! Yep, there's a monster. Silly child. Shoot him. Perfect aim. Ow. I should have peeked. Scare myself. Killed again. Give me goodies. Bandages don't really help me because I'm never. They're only for bleeding. But we do have the scone. Where is Broom Lady? She's all. Oh, there she is. I wish I could have saved that melee ring I had found, but I died like immediately. A cap'n? Maybe. <laughs> well, I know if I got like. If I had like more viewers, or I was a bigger channel, I'd definitely make the prices higher. But, uh... It could be a little crazy sometimes, I guess. Rag inflation. Don't become a big channel. I will never be a big channel. I'm too... I don't know what I am, actually, but I don't really see a way I ever become a big channel. I'm not normal enough. Oh, it's doing it again. See, like, we're not moving around on the map? Okay, this is happening. Of the beer and nachos. I mean, this fixes it, but uh, it's still a little odd. Yeah. Okay, we're actually... Oh, 
I don't have blue. I really need blue. Like, the red scroll is scary. Like, I haven't managed to really set that up very well. Chop. 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 Ow! Oh god, I was like stuck. Turning and running after poisoning him is... Maybe I should have dodged back, I guess. There's this guy. Um, it was poisoned and it was bleeding. So it died. Produces a poisonous cloud, poisoning the wearer and anyone nearby every five seconds. What the hell? I don't want to be poisoned. Point three out of point six. Curious about can that guy? Oh, oh. Whoa. I think it worked. Probably because he opened the door too soon or something. is actually not as hard as some of them because he seems to have a nice hitbox. It's complicated rating systems. Crafting. Use this. Getting a bit cursed now. Pi out of 3.14. Go in here. Hey, what are you doing on this side now? Spell? I have 21 coin. Uh, 
how we can take pictures. know if I can deal with that big fella. He's probably got a lot of health. Hey, underrated critic. Mm, he was here yesterday. Try to use go back into the banquet hall later, I think. Well, this is where that guy was. Oh, there it is. It's just not working. Oh, because the door's not closed, I think. I don't want to try to close it. It'll probably like explode on me. Max. Search that? No. these secret passages go different places or do they all go to the same place? No, yeah, they do go different places. This is Mr. Coffin. Don't have what's needed to do that. Acid. I should really be looking at some of these. Um, Phantom Ring, Matt. Whenever the wearer is over 50% cursed, a faint violet glow appears around their feet. The footsteps become much harder to hear. See, 25% less spell time. Okay. Guess I'm harder to hear now. I had to clear cookies to redeem. What? What is this? I need to make, uh... Another one. Fancy yourself another. Oh, geez. You're a bricky one, aren't you? Let's finish this. Well, it's finished. Many 
things. Uh, you don't like the roguelike? Well, it's just mostly the loot and... Uh, like, the general layout's the same. Oops, I keep doing that. I keep like, oh, it's gold. Critical ring. And the only other rogue like I've really played that I can remember is uh, what the. <gasps> that was not a ghost. The only other rogue like I've really played is Return. Charge. I don't know what to do against it. Body bag. Corrupted heart. Cut the bag open to see what's inside, and I'm still not sure. thing want? I think this one's like a liver or something. Yeah. That's different, now that we're super cursed. Oh god. Hello? Basically, we're stuck in like this kind of dream world in this at a psychiatric hospital. We're trying to, I think we're trying to get out of it. Keep doing that. 
time. Uh, save your ring. What the hell's making those noises? Zero. Oh, another corrupted witch. Another one. You're a bricky one, aren't you? Ow. <laughs> You've gone mad. <laughs> oh, you've gone mad. I'm going over here, though. to the right was a seven. I mean, we're gonna have to enter a code somewhere eventually, I think. No, oh, you. you. No. I don't think they can come in this room. can't come in here. I have an idea. First. My curse is pretty high. Oh, I don't have a red one. Well, maybe I can find a different way to fight this thing. Yeah, that didn't work at all. Dude, it hit me when I wasn't even looking. Oh my god, these guys are tough. Uh, you start, it's like a toxic. You start dying. That thing, I don't know how to fight that thing. Protective ring. That could help, though. This game's pretty hard, so far. Corrupted hard. I should have... But I get it now, to an extent. Or for the most part, I guess. Big guy still in here? I guess it doesn't matter because I don't have any. Oh, I do have a film. The big guy is in here though. I definitely can't kill that. Gimme 
stuff. I should use those twigs to like get by things. Oh, here and there. I was running around. Um, you can do them as, use them as offerings in certain places to give you buffs or level ups or let you remember items when you die. Hello. So many creepy dolls. I should sell them. This room is marble now? Why is it marble this time? Good evening. It was paintings before. Is it because I keep dying? <laughs> because I'm cursed. It might be the curse. plus 10% and curse tolerance plus 10%. It's like a roguelike clock tower with combat. <laughs> Too. Okay. Those guys are easy. Just because you have like their hitbox. 
box is pretty far out. I mean, the original clock tower had randomized rooms. And I think items as well, but it didn't have combat. Actually, I have to go downstairs. Like, I could go in there, I think. Although, the priest with the phrase the sun helmet. It's even got some fatal frame in it, like the ghosts you need the camera for. Wow, okay, there's a curse thing in there, I guess. A uh, hedge mage shopping list. Critical. Spirit twig, warden candle. Uh, useful. Camera dry photograph plates, Bible, cursed explorer ring, ring of perception. Ghost. night to have a curse. You know what this guy, I think this guy does. I think he makes it so if I die, I wake up here. Like, I wasn't actually sh sure, but I haven't played a lot of roguelikes. So I should probably do that. Critical ring. is gone. Do I wake up here now if I die again? Like, was that essentially the save? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Two percent health, 40 percent bleed tolerance. Need some blue wax. Well, I think if I die, yeah, I'm confused. I'm not exactly sure what it. Oh, it rearranged everything though. That's weird. I'm still not exactly sure what he's for then, unless you want to force a rearrangement. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm right here. 
It's just... Oh yeah, we're not cursed anymore, so it looks different. Yeah, that's what he's for. He creates a reset so you can get more stuff. I went into the coffin, then I woke up. My curse was gone, but everything's been rearranged. So it's essentially a reset without dying and losing your stuff. So if you want to, like... If you're not ready for an area and you don't want to die, it's a way to get more stuff. Pretty sure. Because dying, of course, is not going to help you very much. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. But then that's why it costs more the more you do it. Because otherwise you could loot endlessly and level endlessly, well, until you can't find what you need, I suppose. Hi-yah! hi, -ya. hi -ya. Ow. He might be dead already. the chime for picking stuff up should be a little quieter. This room is still marble. things. I need a suit of armor or something, though. <laughs> Some of the big guys. take advantage of the coffin thing I did. Gun boy. Oh, Albert. Why am I still here? time, which is fine right now. I do like how, like, everything kind of changes as you build up Curse. You can find, like, you find more stuff, but it's also more dangerous. See, I don't know why I've been remembering, like, I should remember this curse tolerance okay that sounds good
Oh, I can only do two right now. Twig. I have no blue wax. No, wait, I do have blue wax. No, I have zero. Damn. I need the blue scroll. Uh, curse tolerance, defense, perception. There's some blue wax. Head over here. This should be the starting room. But oh, we get a new present. This one's a corrupted heart, so sure, why not? I don't. Getting a weapon. You get a weapon immediately, so I don't see a reason to do the axe. Just health. Okay, we'll do health. I wonder if you can level up more stats later. You probably can. Oh, let's do this then. I don't know how important this is going to be here. And now I need a corrupted heart. Oh, that lo my curse tolerance is so high now that the uh, I can't go through the mirror until I give myself more curse again. Repeat all. I think if I could get some like throwing weapons, I can maybe take out this giant dude. He does a lot of damage. Okay. Well, not really. It's trying not to die, I think. More basements. There's been so many basements today. Hey, look at the picture behind the uh, armor. <laughs>
Basement president. Okay, back to this hell hallway. Expect two I'm poisoned. Where the hell's the other one? Oh, there it is. Oh man. Inspect. Reach into the toilet. I think I want to. You found rusty cage key. Well, okay. I was gonna do like I was. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it would do a Silent Hill three kind of thing. Oh, now you're here. Which here? And you fancy yourself a knight? You're a bricky one. Let's finish this. Finished. I don't have any more shield spells. Hey Sarah, this is good. I like it. Is there a question mark on the map though? Just might it be four. Maybe I need more curse to find out. It's coming out tomorrow. I put a command. Exclamation withering. Yeah, the guy, the, the guy just kind of, or the developer just kind of messaged me on Discord and gave me the key, Sarah. You're daft? What do you mean you're daft? So let me see, if I can, I wanna, yeah, it's coming out tomorrow. Well, it's coming out in a few, oh. I'll be more observant. Uh, I'm just gonna cast this, I'm gonna see something. Okay, now our curse is above 50%. Oh! Hello. The world is now different.
Like, I don't think you miss any items by being cursed, but you do miss items by not being cursed. Oh, blood rain. Well, the insight kind of just told you where to go, right? Like, the curse is just unveiling stuff, I think. These th seem like they could be extremely good if you can find a way to get luck really high. A lot of things I probably won't. I don't think I need that many bandages. Firework, projectile, 5 physical, 30 fire, 100 point. Ooh. Actually, I didn't realize. I thought that was a distraction item, not a weapon. Which definitely. Oops, I shortcutted the wrong thing. Where's my camera? And then it's like, like, and then when you're those ghosts, you gotta do the fatal frame stuff. Like, it's just, it's kind of a little bit of everything. At all. Do you like this picture of this beautiful man? Or this? I don't know what I took a picture of. It's apparently not worth anything. A spectre, how grand. Film. Where did that come from? Here? Know what you're thinking. Why would a gentleman and his dog be locked up if they hadn't done something nefarious? Surely this man murdered someone and has great, his great beast of, of a dog dragged the body into the lake. Well, I can assure you we are merely the victims of a cruel jape no more. My name is Felix and this is my noble hound Horace. If you would be so kind and to fetch the rusty cage key, I'm sure it will be a, of great use to you. Uh, here. He will, oh, you will not regret this. Not one bit. Let us dust ourselves off, and we'll meet you upstairs in the study. Uh. Okay. Hopefully I... Hopefully they're fine. Amnia. Yeah, it is. This is good. I really like this. A bibble. Bibble gives 50 luck. But it'll go in my other hand. And I think it helps first ghosties. On the Bible? Uh, slight increased luck can be ho held out to hold spirits at bay or even push them around. Take a closer look at the pages. Do those look like the Bible verses you learned as a child? That's well, a different Bible. It's a special Bible. Center keys. End of work. You've never found a Bible? In this game, I mean, obviously. It's said like that's good for the maze place. This thing does so much damage. Maybe I should shoot it with the fireworks. <laughs> Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, 
I'm dead. <laughs> um, she's entered the real world of working. I, I don't see her very much on here anymore. I died. I'm so bad at this game, though. That guy, I shouldn't have fought him. I thought maybe it'd be okay with the firework and stuff. I assume she's fine. Thirty percent less physical damage and minus ten percent speed. There's my pipe. Yeah, like I thought it was okay. Like I have because the firework did a lot of damage and I'm not super used to the combat yet, I guess. But like I still kinda thought I was fine. That, that was silly. Quinn Lotto. Yeah, I'm not really working. I just hang out. They're here, though, so they're permanent. Pet the dog. Pet speak. Good to see you again. Now that we're free, Horse and I would like to offer you a special service. As I understand it, the witch in the basement is always looking for offerings, fingers, hearts, that sort of thing. I don't know much about witchcraft myself, but I do know how to procure these offerings. You see, Horace and I are skilled hunters, always in search of our next target. So you just let me know if you'd like us to go hunting, and I'm sure we can make a deal. Yeah, I'm doing all right. There's a cat headbutting my ankle. Yeah. I have a mix of lucky and unlucky. Strangest thing about waking up in the dark, all locked in. How'd the dark get in here too? Not at all what she wants. She wants food. kind of wretched creature puts a dog in a little cage like that. Suppose we'll never know who the culprit was, but I assure you I am very grateful to be free. We've done a fine thing, and we're, we'd are we like to reward you by offering our hunting service, Horace. Horace has been my primary... been my primary companion for years in life and in the dream I was born into a proper rich family did not get along with them took a family dog and went my own way the only thing I've ever really been good at is hunting not with good with people not good with numbers but Horace can and I could track the fox for miles doesn't help with paying the bills though Margaret 
Love it, girl. Absolutely love it. Gave me the groundskeeping job as a secu and security job for the house after those two brothers died. Albert and Daffod were their names, I think. You can still find them wandering around the dream in living corpse form. Unreal. You have my full permission to kill me if I ever you ever find me wandering around like those two weepers. Never got along with her father. He doesn't think I'm good enough for Margaret. That's why we're proper platonic and don't believe anybody who says different. Just pay money and get things. You love chat. Little rat snuck in. Go away. <laughs> oh, I'm getting. <laughs> getting a hit. Didn't quite make me bleed. Oops. Go in there. What? Oh, I hit her with a pipe. <laughs> there, I was gonna cause some. She might. What are you doing, cat? No, I was looting. Or the cat, not Sarah, the Sarah. <laughs> Spent too much time alone to understand all this stuff. I'm on Twitch a lot, though. I should know more <coughs> things. People say crazy things on Twitch. Paintings, I guess. What's that ring? Cursed ring? One curse damage? Okay, I guess I could use that to just give myself curse. Kill you. I take way too many hits, so I think that's my problem. I'm like terrible at actually avoiding damage. Oh, 
Um, what am I doing? Really have a reason to go out there. Okay, where was... Yeah, I can craft spells in the occult library. Okay, so we're definitely avoiding those big fellas. Done suiciding to them. the basement again. This time we don't die. Rings. Hello. Yeah, this is spells. This spell does a lot of damage. I'm just not sure I can... I'm just scared of it because it can hurt me too. Oh no! The bad sheep man! Ow! Okay. No, don't do that. Oh god. I, I would have killed him, you know, with a little less damage if I didn't hide under the bed there. again. If Jar. Jar. Can't I... Ah. Let me in. <laughs> that was weird. witch in here. Crazy witch. There is stagger. There's poise. Okay, nine. But, like, you have a dodge. Another one. I'm just, like, terrible at... <laughs> oh. Ow. I think bad. You got this roll, you got this. If you have a shield, you can block. It's just like, I'm not good at avoiding any damage so far. I like, this might be a decent time to actually do a coffin, just so I... Nah, I think I'm okay. I do have some healing items and stuff. I'm just like... Do the cough and I could get more... Oh god. Okay, he can't come in here. I'm not really sure why, but he can't. Oh! 
this. It's got music. Must be a unique room, because this might be where I found the dog and the what's his name. This is or why he can't come in here. I think it actually is where the dog and peek. I mean, I can't peek because there's no light. Why is that there? Did I kill a ghost there? Go. Like him. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, there's gonna be more stuff in here because I'm cursed now. So I can see everything. Like that. Lady standing there. Spell damage, which doesn't really help me right now, I don't think. stuff if you're cursed. I think it's like some enemies you obviously want to fight and get stuff from and others you're probably not really meant to or it's at least dangerous to. I mean just kind of gotta experiment I suppose since it's a roguelike and dying just isn't the end. My friends, pet. Is big fella in here still? He, he probably is, but maybe not. See it? Of Ray. Oh, big fella's back there. There's no mirror. I thought there was a mirror in here. Let's 
Oops. <laughs> I was in slow there. That's where I wanted to go. happening. Ah. Poison jar. Too bad I don't have acid. But. Paralysis. This is one way I can avoid that big guy to check some rooms. And also get around him, I suppose. Wine cellar. Okay, that's her. Hello. She levels you up. And I can level up. Level four. Oh. I don't... See, I still don't know how much how how much importance I should put on immunity. I'll just start with health, though. Well done, initiate. Prove yourself worthy of possessing the advanced grimoire. Use this occult library to mix your waxes together, produce colors and spells. Your next reward is level ten. Your initiate outfit. Ooh, I get to get a hat. I have no more human fingers. get in that one room. I don't know if that meant like maybe someone was blocking the way or what. Curse ball spell. Fires a slow moving ball of cursed energy. We'll call upon Astaroth to bring forth his no noise some breath. Curse damage, physical damage, poise impact, 15 curses to user. Green. Suit of armor can be enchanted to do battle for the caster. The armor will follow the caster from room to room until it dies in combat. Health and damage of the armor scale with the spell damage. Whoa. That sounds actually pretty good. Harvest field spell. Creates a local field of vampiric energy, damaging foes and using their vital energies to heal the caster. The effect is... Subtle and will not be known to its victims. We call upon, okay, so for 20 seconds deals damage to each second and heals the caster. spell is definitely not powerful enough to just kill the big dude, though. I'd buy stuff. Thank you. 
Got the melee damage ring back because he had it for sale. Trying to decide if I even want to use it now, though. Helps you see like the weird anomalies and treasures and stuff when you're cursed. It like gives you even more. Seems good. I mean, maybe I'm overvaluing it. I don't know. Now I can throw acid. Like, how much damage does the acid do? That might be like a way I could kill one of the big guys. 35, like if I got like acids or if I got more, uh, get some more uh, fireworks. Why does this keep happening? Oh my god, what was that? on that door. Wait, this is... Go back to get some fireworks. I'm just gonna like try to blow up that guy. Plus five poison. 
build up for melee at Ooh. Deal with that later. I'm gonna blow up the big dude. Curse you get, the more creepy items replace regular items. Hello? Oh god. Ghost. Um. Ah. Maybe too much curse. <laughs> too much curse. Giant maid, Tara. Oh god. Corrupted liver. I hear her whispering and stomping about at all hours. Wait, now who's in here? Oh, wait, you're a... Uh... Am I healthy? If you're too close, that doesn't hit you. Interesting. Or oh, I got lucky. I don't know. Let's finish it. Oh, the fire shield. You're a bricky one, aren't you? Got her. Give me those fingers. Oh, we can try this. Come to me, armor. My friend! Oh man. I don't know how strong it is, but it is pretty cool. Buddy. I got a key. I wonder if you can have more than one. I don't have another scroll, but boiler room. That's where I got ambushed. Yep, there he is. <coughs> Not that powerful. Though. West to east in white lead. Okay. Zero. Uh, sweet Millie, dead girl. In the dark, I can almost see her. Our number game. West to east in white lead. The other two are where we laid our head. Ah. 
how many enemies are here? What's happening? Oh, the night is good, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. The night was destroying them. There were three in here, though, which is kind of mean. Oh no. no there, there's nothing in the toilet. Okay, good. We don't have to stick our hand in another one. Okay, west to east. So zero's in here. Yeah, zero. I think they were in both the servants' quarters. Oh god, you're here. What is that? What is that? What did- no. Wait, what was in the- What the hell are you? Huh? Little wretch. Filthy little wretch has found way to animate his creepy little dolls. But this game is really good. Six. It's my night. Six nine. Perfect password. Getting rid of this curse. No more curse. Too scatty. This way we can get some things done. have explored every room with the curse. We should have found everything, I believe. Yeah, the design of this game is pretty, is really good. You're still here? I thought, I thought you were here because of curse. My knight. How did you get so lost, sir? Why are you stuck? Wake up, Mr. Knight, I need you. Mr. Knight? Hey. My night broke.
Don't. Wish my knife didn't break, because then I could actually, like, kill this thing pretty easily, I think. All right. Yeah, I missed. Oh, that did a lot. Curse Sentinel. They have been tasked by guarding the very edges of the curse, but by whom? Well, it did show up because of the curse. Yeah. There goes my acid, but... I wonder if these lights stay on even if I die. They probably do, but I'm not really sure. As long as you do not leave this room, death will return you to this moment. Sure. What the hell's happening in here, but... Sir? What's your surgeon? Ah, you must be the new boy. Just so you're awake? Aware the last boy died of sepsis. He did not listen carefully to my instructions. This patient is dying. I need you to run to the laboratory and craft a tonic jar. I do not have one right now, but I will I will work on that. First, um my cat wants food, so I will be right back after I give her some food. So you can listen to this guy chop that body or whatever.
All right, I'm back. Oh, she has an idle animation. She just sits down. Thanks for the follow. He wants me to make a tonic, but I don't have a jar. same perspective you've got <laughs> hiding from monsters and stuff but you can fight back run arcade thanks for the follow get my bottle. It's like mixing Clock Tower Silent Hill and Fatal Frame together. <laughs> Is it confirmed? Like confirmed by Konami or just the uh the rating by the Korea. too excited about it until we have some idea of what kind of game it is. Did you confirm it on uh, 4chan though, nah? Because if you don't post it as anonymous on 4chan, there's no way anyone will believe it. Better get that, get on that, otherwise it just, it doesn't work. Get to the lab. At least I had a lot of money. I have stuff I can sell too, I think. I did burn through a whole bunch of stuff down here, but I, it's probably the expected, I would think. But the acid jars were very nice. How long does this stay here? It's kind of weird. You can't even dodge through it without getting a little bit of curse on you. What's about to happen here, but if there's a save thing here, you may be of some use, boy. Talk, butcher. 
I do have a name, of course, but I'd rather not sully my reputation in the real world. Finding work has been difficult for an old-fashioned craftsman like myself, so I had to do things I'm not proud of. The buddy fool Joseph Lister has turned the art of surgery into a complete farce. What, with the Lister knife? Dr. Blackett offered me top pay for a simple job. Each night I was to deliver him to him fresh corpses and dissect them. He claimed he was starting a medical school, but there were no students. The bodies were to be anatomized in front of a curious window, the observer cloaked in shadow. A few nights later, when I awoke in the dream, the truth was made clear. Withering rooms. Hey, dog dad. <clears throat> I had been hired to introduce the dream to the mechanical operations of the human body. Now I stay on, assisting Dr. Blackett. Yes, but performing my own investigations as well. It would be nice if they had some voice acting. Just get a bunch of random YouTubers to do it. <laughs> or Twitch streamers. Is this going to be on... I don't actually know. Probably be a good idea for them. I'd assume that it's like a small indie game, so it's probably PC first, but that doesn't mean they won't dream. The dream affords me the rare opportunity to study the human body in exciting detail. Jack Sectify the voice of the butcher. Each night the dead are reanimated anew. So one can truly practice in the way of impossible in the real world. When I first arrived in the dream, I performed many an experiment on willing subjects. Well, mostly willing, I think. Progress requires sacrifices, no? Thanks, Anonymo. Yeah, this is good. For instance, I spent a few weeks slicing one gentleman's Achilles tendon in a, a different way each night. As you can imagine, he grew stark raving mad, but by the end I was able to cons consistently repair that hobbled foot. Don't even get me started on what I've learned about the brain. Oh, wow. I believe I'm still alive in the real world, and that in a few more nights, I'll awake as usual. Initially, I had only the, uh, the faintest memories upon waking, but over time, I learned to retain more. As soon as I awake, I pick up a scalpel and retrace what I have practiced in the dream. Additionally, I believe there's a way to escape the dream at will. But I certainly won't tell you about it, my little secret also. If I ever hear you sneaking around Mostyn Mausoleum, I will cut your eyes out. Oh no. Oh, I see. You're not the new boy. You're a puppet! Uh... Hey, gonna trap you. I'm going to snip your strings. What? I'm not a puppet. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Come here, child. Oh, God. Foul creature. Oh, child. <laughs> well, that's why there's this thing here. So I guess for boss fights, they give you a room, like a room save. I'm ready with fireworks. Mr. Knight, you woke, you found your way. Oh my god, he's here. My knight came back. Whoops. 
Okay, he's dead now because Mr. Knight came back. Wow. Hey, ah. My knight! Got the dodge, got the rolly. I don't know how important it is to have these dial. It's probably not. I don't know why I'm doing this. I do need to wait for my knight though to show up. If he will, I'm not. I assume he will, since he did. Yeah, here he comes. So dying fixed the night. Knight made that right eye idol. The sign is permanent. The right eye, eye, the right eye to an ancient stone idol. Small glimmering lights can be seen within. Money, heart, butcher. My knight's not even dead. The night is awesome. I think I kind of contributed to the night dying the first time, but Telescope. I've been here too long. Oh. You're you're there. <laughs> She shouldn't be too much of a problem. That explains the horrible things I've seen. Oh, my knight. Knight down. My knight. Sure. 
anything I need to keep. I think that's a good ring, so I'll keep it. I'm mostly just using this for rings until I know what the hell I'm doing. Big fella still in here. Oh, there he is. Party. I sell anything? Bandages I like never use. I mean, I guess probably get hit with bleeding eventually. I've only been partially hit with bleeding. You will give me an egg. Egg. stuff respawns. Like, I think the only way I can get new enemies besides, I mean, I could use the coffin or which just kind of resets everything or really high curse might spawn some of those nasty things. human fingers. Bingies. Uh, Bingies to level up. Wait, this isn't where I want to be. But I don't have the paper. The spell. I don't know what the question mark on the map really represents, because a lot of rooms have one. and build up ring. But this is... need scrolls and wax. See, that's why I could use the coffin, I think. Although, I don't... 
stockpile because I've used so much stuff fighting some of the stronger enemies. maze. Hey, a knight. But I don't have magic. Critical items. Spirit twigs and warding candles. Useful. Camera. Bible. Cursed explorer ring. Ring of perception. Yeah, I can see. Oh, God. What the... <laughs> Childs, stop it. We're in fatal frame now. What is that? Curse. Probably dumb. Um. Jesus. Oh, wow. They weren't worth anything either. This place seems extremely easy to get lost in. God.
find my way out of here. <laughs> I need more supplies. I'm gonna do the coffin thing. I think, cause... Miss the coffins. I need stuff. Yeah, I... That was... I got... I went back out the entrance, so I didn't... anything really but mr. coffins because this is a roguelike he uh, resets the random random stuff so now I can resupply so he resets the random stuff without you losing everything to dying But, so the enemies will be back, but so will everything else, so... And the layout will be different. I think the, like, building stays the same, but, like... What's in each room is different. And, of course, there's some permanent items you never lose. Sets things, but definitely it kind of adds to, I guess. God, I'm bleeding. Oh! Ow! Did not know. So much for resetting things. And trying to keep my stuff. Hundred percent luck. percent chance yeah the scaling items very nice for that uh, you lose you can protect some of your items but uh, yeah you lose a lot of stuff but you, you don't lose your levels you don't lose a lot of key things you've done it's a roguelike but 
There's a lot you don't lose. I don't know, kind of like Returnal, I guess. So a lot of progress you do not lose. coming from I don't know I guess they could hear me running but so there are extra enemies God hello help me it's got a lot harder no I, I need my fingies Thank you for asking Felix and Horace. Not sure who locked them up, but I have my suspicions. Go find me some fingers. Horus, the doggo. Yeah, this guy's not too... This guy's pretty easy. Can you see this? What the hell all is in here? Yeah, I didn't know it would added enemies like this. I need a gun. I need to summon a knight. That would help a lot. Hey, buddy. I mean, he's got a gun.
I mean, I can't take his gun, though, but... Considering he has one, makes me think that, uh... Dude, just like poked and ran. Go. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh god, this is weird. The wrong room thing. No, there's a note about this. If you like open and close the door three times in a row. I did it on accident, but... Um... <laughs> Ow. Ow. Help. This is the wrong room. I'm leaving the wrong room. I, well, I mean, I couldn't, didn't seem like I could do much in my current state in there. I need to make some spells. Just get a belong. knife. Get, yeah, get a knight, and then... It's a cat. Why do I... Hear myself. From where? I didn't turn anything on. Cat. Very big cat. Oh, I see what it is. Never mind. Okay. Something I... A video I had editing in the background. It's finished. That explains the horrible things I've seen. Uh, and then it just, I guess, auto-played, which I didn't know it did that. Fields do have durability. I haven't had one break. I, you know, I've just lost them because I died. I don't know how long they last. If you like, don't die. But how do I don't die? Mm, cup of tea. I am caffeinated. Now I have true power. Where was that suit of armor? No! Yeah, I will probably never say something like that. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Like, I don't, I don't know how to promote myself. I am probably incapable of promoting myself in any way. That's why I'm like, just... My friend! Yeah, I can't promote myself. I'm not comfortable with promoting myself. Look at the slow motion run I'm doing. If you hold run, but then barely move, she still does the running animation. Alright then. Well, the night is the best, though. I mean, I have started putting stuff on YouTube again. Like, very badly edited VODs, basically. <clears throat> I 
now with our night buddy, we can get some stuff. <laughs> Slap. I am pretty damn cursed right now. I should probably chill on the curse. Oh, my knight can't go past the candle. Gotta wait for it to burn out, I guess. Yeah, it's just VODs, basically. Because I've lost a lot of playthroughs from just not really... ...saving things. Because the VODs will go away eventually. I mean, I could highlight all my VODs, but... I don't know. Sir, You're supposed to follow me. Mr. Knight, I think if you like enter and exit rooms too quickly, you can confuse your knight. Oh, here he goes. What happened to the big shield guy? I didn't kill him. He could have wandered to some random room, I guess. the knight can cross that to... Yeah, maybe he can't cross this area, though, because it's a different area. Oh, are these lights still on? They are. So, like, I never have to do turning these lights on again. That's cool. versus pipe. So like the pipe just does more damage but the axe has bleed build. Yeah it does seem to have its own You can lose your knight. Other night, he found me. I didn't think he. I thought he was. I thought he couldn't go through that one room. I have two knights. Oh my god, the knights, the knight strat. Does any of this any good I'm not a knight, but they are. Oh, she did a lot of damage to them. That kind of sucks. AoEs will destroy the knights, unfortunately. My friends! Oh, 
what the hell are you? Oh my god, I got destroyed. What the hell was that? Oh, I didn't save the luck ring. No. Stupid. Oh man. I was overconfident with my knights. It's quite easy to die in this game. some goodies again and See, I thought I would dodge to the other side of that one enemy and uh, I'm leaving you by doing that I'd be able to the knights would hit him in the back but and they did but it wasn't enough how did you get in Be stupid. stuff as we can get. Then maybe some knights would be nice. Go in there. Good job. Uh, come to me. My friend. Knights definitely have some troubles. Yeah. Oh, that I thought it was the other way. Oh. Holy crap. Knight! Maybe the 
this is waking up. Why you can't chase me through the door? Because the night is like kind of in the way. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Please? You will not leave that room. Get it. I mean, the knight will come in here. Maybe it has to do with this room more than anything. Maybe he's not supposed to be in here. Nice help you were, Mr. Knight. Dude is somewhere. Okay, this is the shop. the crafting stuff is all quite cheap. come in here and go a lot of places but probably not here yet well there's bedsheet dude and then there's like 
there's a crawling one. Like body bag, dude. Should have these spirit twigs ready. Because, like, I, I never think to use them when I'm in trouble, and they make you invisible so you can get away. I mean, I do have them ready, I just never use them, I guess. This is 15% health, okay. How good this one is, or this one. Night might kind of teleport eventually or something. Or maybe not. I don't know. He probably doesn't actually. Oh, Mr. Knight, no! If you're really close, she doesn't hit you. Ah! 
Oh. You. Fucking <laughs> body bag man. I'm gonna grab a knight, I should probably remove curse. I'm not fighting her. Oh, you have been cursed. Freaking tall ladies. He's dangerous. behind me. Oh, you. Can you, do I have what I need? I do. Level me up. First off, oh, no, I need money. I need money for the next level. Okay. What are you? Holy crap. Help. Yeah, I killed the ghost. There was a ghost and a knight, is what was happening. Uh, I guess I was... I was really prepared. I think the ghost may have reanimated the knight, actually. I don't know if that's how they work, but mm, caffeine. Mr. Body Bag. There's a 
lot over there. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Oh god. I don't think anything can come in here because this was the boss room, but maybe I'm wrong. They can! But like we got the remember thing, so this is like a... Kind of safe place to fight. Because you just, uh... If you do die, you just... Come back here. It is good. This is really good. Whoa. Oh, you're a, a witch. Okay. Um. Bad That's choice finished. there. Now! That works. Giant, you okay? Get me out of there. Run. Ow, what the? Oh. oh, there's a treasure right there. I probably have enough, yeah. So, uh, there's no mirror in here, is there? Painting gallery definitely has a mirror, so let's head over there. How much money do I have? I have 42 money. Curse, a lot of weird stuff happens. Place to create a distraction or draw attention to something. Creepy dog. I wonder how effective that thing is. I think it's really good, Sounds Pizza. Uh, here, have this and this and this. Give me some film. Reload.
Okay, I think packing. Packing dumb. Was she in the wine room? I think so. There she is. Oh, now we can go with this other stuff. Fortune. Bolstering one's ability to survive poisoning at the hands of the jealous. Huh? Boys. Hey, settle down in that cage. Just don't know. Speed of all actions. Sure. I mean, speed's always good. I need a liver. And money. No, oh, you're in here. I know, just keep going all in on HP. I don't know. Like, speed sounds pretty good to me. the luck. Let's we go. I don't think we're going to be able to see much until I get some curse, though. Mr. Knight. Hello. Curse actually. Oh god. Thieves. It's thieves. Not thieves, but. Yeah. Not a curse. Okay, here, we're gonna keep going through the ones with the eye. I think that's what we're supposed to do, but...
help. Game's scary. You're supposed to like necessarily take some of this stuff on. Bolting light fixtures to them is just disrespectful, Emma. Burning zombie. The dream steadfastly refused my attempts to teach it propagation. Well. This curse is pretty high. We don't got a lot of stuff. Now. Ah, no. Too close. No, the fire. <laughs> yeah, but I'm too close, so I'm getting burned, so I can't hit him. Find a place? Like, we found one of these, so I found a something. Yes. Let's save. Yeah. Oh, we found like a midpoint, I think. Or maybe even the end. Getting headbutts. As soon as I reach down, though, she knows I would pick her up instead of give her food. 
She knows me too well. So this is good, because now portal to hedge maze, so now we can actually go back to somewhere I can craft. Kill certain cursed to kill other cursed. Makes sense. Missing is the liver, though. Slay ever suffer my curse. My cat's gonna curse me if I don't give her food. Keep forgetting where I can make spells. The cult library, right? Can I teleport to the cult library? Oh, coffin chamber works. of this chapter. Lots of curse. Eek. Oh, there's a, uh, one of these things. Austin Mausoleum. Can I take that night? Who are you? Hold on, I won't talk to you just yet. Fresh face. You look about the same age as me. Your face is, still looks intact, though. Oh, your face is not. I guess her face is messed up then. I think my body might be rotting in reality, and my face is just first to go in the dream. My name's Emma. Not that it matters much. I'll make you a deal. Bring me an enchant spell, and I'll help you break into this mausoleum. I'm going to like what's inside, trust me. Uh, sure. You know... She's gonna tell me how stupid I am. I've been thinking. What's in there is pretty valuable. I think I'll keep it for myself. No hard feeling. No! It's broken. Oh no. Night 
that's not even the boss, though. Oh, God. Oh, I see how that spell works now. I wasted it, though. You can't cross that, right? Yeah, you can't cross that. She can, though. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Ow! It's not that bad. Okay, that's how you deal with it. The candles. I think she was like one of the patients that was here before us and Emma human finger the best students are often those that lose their way the most oh well, maybe who knows this picture and more Born 5th of December, 1825, Newport, Wales, died 22nd of October, 1854, of cholera, Aberdare, Wales. Peter Morstan. 5th of February, 1846, died 17th of August, 1881, of heart failure. Items in there's something in Latin. The son studied his Latin alphabet dutifully. Father, two precious children in his heart. Sister, four corners of the world to explore with her family. Mother, six days of the week for the rest. The one day to honor God. Truly the family is divine. Because she was controlling the go I was The golem was there because she used the spell. That I gave her. Kind of figured she was going to do that too. to figure out Latin from this. Priscilla Morstan, born 5th of February 1846, died 14th of June 1874 of fever, Constantinople, Ottoman Empire. Alfred Morstan, born July 13th 1813, Lancaster, England, died 10th of June 1874 of fever, Constantinople, Ottoman Empire. First sentinel candle. Oh, I remember where that where to get one of those, but that tall lady. Add Astra per SP. That's the father, this is one of the children, and this is the other one? Oh, 
father, two precious children in his heart. If that says two precious children in his heart, then... Well, actually, I don't know what this says. What's Latin? So I was thinking it'd be like... Four corners of the world to explore with her family. Oh, it wants mother is the other one. Oh. Fix. Wait. Oh, well, maybe he's eight. Then. Maybe it's eight. Are you eight? Two, four, six, eight. No. Fit in this. Two precious children. In his heart. Yeah, heart has four chambers. Six days a week caring for... Okay. What? I still gotta use three letters, or three symbols for something. For the code. Sam. No, it's not Sam. This is this is the mother. Priscilla Morston. It's the daughter. They're the sister, and this is the father over here. The son studied his Latin alphabet dutifully. The son is the. F <laughs> the battery exploded in your calculator? Oh god. I mean, I could use my phone as a calculator, but I don't know if it's a math problem. I think it's you're trying to use these this information to figure out three Latin letters, but I don't really. Are these Latin letters? The T I eighty three. That was a classic. I had the T I eighty six, which was pretty nice. Pretty good for games while you're at class. sounds going on here, because we're super cursed. What if it's like number of lines or... Mm -hmm. 
four corners. So it's, okay, the son studied his Latin alphabet dutifully. You think it's circles? I don't know if it's that simple or not. I mean, this has two circles also. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't know, does this have four circles? No. Two precious children in his heart. So, I mean, I assume this is father, sister, mother. Wait, so two circles, but like in his heart, so... Maybe the location of the circles, like there? But even if that's... Like, nothing has... Possible. Could have been an accident. You know what? I think I get it. Like each one, each one uses a different thing. So this this should have four corners. One, two, three. Uh... I think I think I understand it though. I don't know what this would be though. One, two, is this four corners? Trying all her tricks again. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. 
This has two circles also. Like, mm. The S stands for Sunday. No. If I have any of them right. Like, I don't know if eight, this is right. Two precious children in his heart. I mean, the letter H and then two circles in the middle of the H, sure. Four corners of the world to explore with her family. I'd have nothing to do with the numbers, yeah. No. E, I mean, T has... What? What? Convert in. I feel like any of these are D. It's actually not that bad. No, there's gotta be something to this, this whole first thing. The son studied his Latin alphabet dutifully. Like that has to be the main clue, I would think. Father, two precious children in his heart. Sister, four corners of the world to explore with her family. Mother, six days. 
a week caring for the rest and a one day to honor God. Truly the family is divine. I, I just tried that one. Yeah, I don't. So what is the what does it have to do with these thimbles? What about the candles? Candles make any shapes? Yeah, but like, ad astra per aspera. That's what I'm saying. Like, it has to do, it must have to do with the Latin, but. This is the father. You get it? the eye the second letter of the le yeah I, I see now I got an I oh no I used an I hello can't believe it you've gotten the I back I apologize for the deception of this mask allow me to prop properly introduce myself I am Peter Mostyn yes this is my sarcophagus over there I am dead in the real world allow me to explain Divine, oh god. My twin sister Priscilla and I have been interested in magic since we were children. We always hoped to find a way to contact our, de uh, our dear deceased mother, but nothing worked. It wasn't until 1874 that we finally found real magic. We were invited on a diplomatic trip to visit Constantinople, the ancient city of Byzantium. Yeah, it was in front of us. <laughs> well, my... F yeah, use the Latin words, and then the second, fourth, and yeah. While my father worked to ingratiate himself with the politicians, we had traveled with Priscilla and I searched... Priscilla and I searched for artifacts to pur purchase. 
Through many encounters with shady merchants and frauds, we were finally shown this idol with ruby eyes. The price was high, but we were promised miraculous effects, so the idol was purchased. That night, Priscilla and I awoke in the dream for the first time. You see, this idol is the source of the dream, and it re recreates anything its ruby eyes see. The idol is a painter of sorts. It tries to portray its subjects accurately, but is prone to extrapolation and flights of fancy. Once its ruby eyes has fallen upon someone, it will incorporate them into the dream. Father had caught a fever shortly after we arrived in Constantinople. Only a few days after purchasing the idol, Priscilla showed symptoms of the fever as well. Within a fortnight, they were both dead. My grief, as you can imagine, was boundless. But to my utter astonishment, Priscilla was alive in the dream. The idol did not know of her death. I returned home to Mostyn House with the bodies and the idol. As I showed the idol more of the house and of life, the dream grew grander. I was able to convince the idol that magic exists with some simple parlor tricks and pyrotechnics. In the dream, my sister and I slowly created a paradise. Of course, even with magic in the dream, we were never able to meet Mother. The idol had never seen her. As you have seen, Dr. Blackett and his henchmen have turned the dream into a nightmare. It is time to end the dream by destroying the idol's representation of itself in the dream. Thank you for returning the eye. I'm too weak to have done it myself. Now let me prepare the destruction spell. Something tells me this isn't going to work. Oh. Oh, Peter, you finally let your guard down for a moment. You've been a not quite a naughty boy, haven't you? Ex Whoa. Excellent work, Mr. Wretch. Peter, my old friend, how far you have fallen. I tried to help you. Why would you try to destroy the dream? Collect the ashes for the erasure ritual. Peter shall cause us no more trouble. Take the girl to the observatory. I have other matters to attend to. I thought you were my friend. Chapter 1. Chapter 2, Mostyn House, 1892. In a dream, Nightingale is taken to the observatory in the attic. Eventually, the wretch's sleep spell begins to wane. She awakens to find a letter at the foot of her bed. 